Buckle up, fight fans. Today, we've got some insane drama to dive into. The boxing goat, Floyd Money Mayweather, and the current knockout king, Gervonta Tank Davis, just had one of the most intense face-offs we've ever seen. For years, the boxing world has been buzzing about a potential showdown between these two titans. Now at last, it's finally here. Floyd Mayweather versus Gervonta Davis is set to take place this September. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So grab your popcorn, smash that like button, and let's get into it. Floyd Mayweather versus Gervonta Davis has officially been confirmed for September, and their recent face-to-face -face interview has set the world on fire. This matchup is all anyone can talk about, and for good reason. The tension has been building for months, but now that the fight is locked in, the excitement is at an all-time high. We all saw the signs when Gervonta Davis hinted that this epic showdown was coming in September, but now that it's a reality, the anticipation is off the charts. New deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but... There's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside of ring. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Gervonta Davis is more than ready to throw hands, he's itching for the fight. The recent face-off between him and Floyd Mayweather got so intense that security had to step in. The tension was through the roof as Davis leaped from his seat, ready to go after Floyd right then and there. The bad blood between these two runs deep, and it was on full display during their heated exchange. This isn't just about a fight, it's personal and things are only getting more explosive from here. Mayweather is already back in training and his most recent training clip is making a lot of rounds all over the internet. And no, it's not cause of Floyd's elite boxing skills, but cause who he's training with, Shakur Stevenson. Yep, Floyd and Shakur are grinding together in the gym. And with those two scheming in the same room, you just know they're plotting something big against Tank. So let's break down what's really going on here. We've got two massive egos clashing. Floyd, the seasoned vet, has always been in control. He's used to calling the shots, not just in his career, but also in Tank's. But Tank's on the rise, and he's starting to outgrow that role. It's like that classic story, student versus master. But in this case, the student has the power to KO the master. And that's what's making this situation so electric. Floyd's legacy is on the line. He's been untouchable, unbeatable, but if Tank takes him out, it changes everything. On the flip side, Tank has everything to gain. Beating Floyd would solidify him as the next big thing, the new face of boxing. But you have to wonder, why is Floyd Mayweather coming out of retirement to fight Gervonta David? I mean, the man's already got more money than he could ever spend. He doesn't need this fight. So what's the real reason? It's simple. Floyd is fed up with Tank's constant disrespect. Say what you want about Floyd, but there's no denying that without him, Tank wouldn't be the star he is today. Floyd played a huge role in shaping Davis's career, and now he feels like Tank should be showing him the respect he deserves. Floyd's not just coming back for the money or the glory. He's coming back to remind Tank and the world just who paved the way. 
my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. It's pretty ironic when you think about it. Floyd Mayweather claims he's there to support Gervonta Davis. Yet he turns around and gives advice to Tank's opponents on how to take him down. Floyd even went so far as to give Frank Martin insider tips on how to wipe the floor with Davis. And if that wasn't enough, he was actually training with him too. You can bet that didn't sit well with Tank. It's one thing to have a mentor who wants the best for you, but when that same mentor starts helping your rivals, it's bound to spark some serious tension. I remember you talking about doing the pad work with Floyd, and he said you got the speed and the power to be a world champ. What did that do for your confidence? You can hear that from anybody, but Floyd is Floyd. It was just motivation, you know, because at that time too, man, I wasn't even, I ain't had an IQ yeah. that I got now. So at that point, I was just really going off natural athleticism. So for him to tell me that at that time, getting deeper in my bag, trying to Shit. understand the game. It's not like basketball where you got to depend on people. It's not like football. Like the work that you put in reflects the directly with your results. People don't even know the amount of hours that y'all put into this. Yeah. We ain't got no backup. We got a bad day, whatever. We ain't got nobody to come, you know, come through for us. It's all on you. Unfortunately for Frank, Floyd's training did not account for much in his fight against Tank Davis. Frank Martin went to sleep just like most of Tank's opponents. After the fight, Gervonta Davis did not hold back on exposing Floyd. Yep, did you know Floyd was having him stalked while Tank was out on runs? That's right, let's just say Gervonta Davis was not too happy about this. You know he the one, you know, he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop out while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I, I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, you're not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him. It's a bad situation. Another reason that drove Tank Davis to send Floyd a fight contract he could not refuse was that Floyd fired Leonard Ellerbay as CEO of Mayweather Promotions because of his petty reasons. Mayweather was not a fan of Ellerbay backing up Gervonta and supporting him against his fight with Martin. So Floyd did what he thought was best. This got under Tank's skin and he was quite verbal about his feelings for Floyd when he was exchanging words with Errol Spence Jr. What dirt? Huh? What, 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 what's the name of that? I see you got all your people. Y'all all, all, all stepping, huh? Look <laughs> 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 at that, man. Nigga, where dirt is? I don't know. They don't like me. What do you mean? Love limit. I don't like floors, motherfucker. Now you're down. EJ doing trash talk. Make you miss Here's what spices things up. Floyd said he accepted Tank's fight offer because he wanted to humble Tank following his constant digs. But that's not true at all. Gervonta Davis recently revealed he landed a deal way bigger than Floyd. Now we know how Floyd rolls. His ego is always through the roof. He's not going to stand another fighter to do better in the industry than he did. Set you off that you was like, I got to do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. 
He said. So everything. you feel like it was a sub? Like he was subbing you? Like oh, he, like he that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me, yeah. and I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. There's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Cause it's been, I feel like y'all y'all got I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like you know is it just like big bro little bro seeing things different or what is it? You know it just. It, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's, that the, deal, that's a part that's of deal, he, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing this is it This exclusive, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Take no cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. Trainer of Gervonta Davis, Calvin Ford is ready to get into this battle. He said that karma is going to come for Floyd in the ring, and he's going to hit the canvas early. The only thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we said what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to be built itself, you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said this is the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. They can't stand it, you know. Calm is the. I mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know. But our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.